Hey, what's going on? Been a while. Uh, I guess the last video I did was the repost of the Tariq Nasheed um, uh, behind the con. Since I made that, I noticed a few things. I noticed uh, you got people who are constantly going in on Tariq. <clears throat> For one reason or another, <clears throat> excuse me, or another, others aren't going hard enough, if you ask me. Then you got one guy who seems to be going in. It, sometimes it seems intriguing. Sometimes it seems like it's going somewhere. Then he does a 180 and goes someplace else. And I, I'm guessing he's doing a Lennon Honor trying to go all out with the Umar, I mean with the uh, Tariq. Which I don't mind because I always said that Lennon Honor, hell, he ain't got nothing else to talk about. He might as well switch and go on in on uh, Tariq. He has nothing to lose but a lot to gain. So you got the Tariq, you got the Taharka Bay going in on Tariq, but I do have to question his sincerity. And the reason why I have to question that is because, number one, the things that he's done to me or interacted with me, he, he's showing himself to be a liar. I mean, I'm just coming straight out. You know, like the thing with the meatball situation. <clears throat> and when uh, Sister Noble came on, he didn't tell me that she was coming on. And he says, he claims that she just happened to have come on. But at that time, like I said, explained in the video prior, he said he had me waiting in the back. I was supposed to come on. But he had her come on instead, but he never dropped the link for me. He kept playing email tag bullshit. Oh, I didn't get the email. Emails are clear. The spelling was pretty clear. The man just, he was just bullshitting. That's how he plays the game. So that's why I question his sincerity. Then when I did go on, <clears throat> there was a time we were supposed to have another show talking about Moorish sovereignty and the, and the sovereign uh, citizen stuff. Sovereignty and, <laughs> and uh, sovereign citizen stuff. He said, yeah, that's a good one to have because he claims this other Moore is doing it. And of course, my man never did the show. And he claims he's going to go in on Freemasonry. See, the reason why you can't trust people like him is because they act like they're against something. But they're a part of the thing. A Morris person can't go against Freemasonry when their whole outfit is Freemasonry. So you know he's lying even before he begins. That is Tariq Nasheed thing. I find it curious. I was a critic of Tariq Nasheed, but I never kept going in. Of course, the keyboard musician who seems to be MIA, uh, he was the main one going in on him. Relentlessly. And it's too bad. I assume he must have been silenced. But um, that's pretty unfortunate. Because we definitely need to hear him now. But the... Tariq Nashi video I did behind the con. I thank Lionel for pointing out that that video was taken down. <clears throat> and again, I have to let it be known that YouTube didn't email me. They didn't give me a warning. Nothing. They just, a matter of fact, they didn't even say it was taken down. Because once Lionel told me, I went and checked the, uh, you know, the videos. And on the playlist, they had it as unavailable. I'm like, what is this shit? And keep in mind, it was taken down 
It was apparently unavailable before Target Bay started his series. So everybody who, who watches this channel, they know I, I went in first. And um, last night, Taharka Bay had the nerve to talk about, yeah, who who did this first? Nobody ever went in on Tariq Nasheed uh, uh, first like this. I said, man, come on. And he knows it. He saw the damn video. He saw my damn video. That's why he never mentions my name. So that's how you can tell. And you know he knows me because I spoke to the man on the air more than a few times. That's how you can tell people who are full of shit and trying to avoid people when they purposely don't mention your name. All you got to do, he didn't even mention a keyboard musician's name either because he's trying to take all the credit. I'm going to let him take all the credit. Because at the last night show when he said Marcus Saunders, I'm like, you just did shows before that talking about Marcus Sanders. Now you and you telling you were telling us he was possibly Haitian or Latino. Now is Marcus Saunders now. Where everybody else has it as Sanders. I said this sounds fishy now. And again, I know that Taharka Bay is a man whose word you cannot trust. <laughs> uh, and even if you don't buy what I'm saying, I'll let you experience that for yourselves. Like when he says somebody's crit criticizing him on the show, he says, come on, I'm going to drop the link. You come in and tell me uh, what the problem is. Number one, he usually won't drop the link. And if he does, he'll act like the person didn't come on. He'll just keep you in the back. My man's full of shit. He's also full of shit on his <clears throat> criminal history. You know, a typical criminal says, shit, I ain't get convicted. So I ain't do it. But motherfucker, how many times do you get accused? It's just like when people talk about Deshaun Watson and Bill Cosby. Okay, you didn't do this. You didn't do that. But motherfucker, how many? You, you must have done something. You, you, you keep getting accused. And what... Bay keeps getting accused of seems to be similar episodes, you know, dealing with uh, women, baseball bats, shotguns, all types of shit. <laughs> and we're talking relatively recently, the 2000s, the 2014. So if the man is reformed. God damn it, it, it wasn't too uh, long ago that he was still thugging. But this video is not about him per se. But it's about the typical YouTube shenanigans. Which is what made me start talking about that kind of shit to begin with. Because I started seeing it. Now I see history repeating itself. Because now, if you notice Tariq Nasheed... He'll mention me. I told you they only mention other agents' names. He'll mention Michi X. I got the Negro to mention my name. I had to force that out of his ass. And he made sure he doesn't slip and mention it again. But as long as I forced it out of his ass one time, that's good enough. Um, Michi X, agent. Pan Africanism Strikes Back, agent. Taharka Bay, agent. Some people might say, how is he an agent? He's a fucking moron. Agent. <laughs> and that's it right there. Um, so here's, here's the deal. He made cartoons of them. Obviously, he couldn't make a cartoon of me unless he was clever. Uh, but he still never mentioned me. Michi X used to mention me. Then somebody told her to stop mentioning me. <laughs> so now we're dealing with the old I'm suing somebody shit that you constantly see on or have seen on YouTube in the past you know that creates drama and more importantly it creates dollars because and it's not just black people on YouTube who do this kind of thing it's white people oh I'm suing this person I'm suing that person 
oh, I got to sue this so we can uh, fight against the system. You know, I, uh, I can afford it, but, you know, if you people can help me out, that'll work. They do it all the time. Those auditors, they do it all the time. Get arrested. <clears throat> First thing they say is, I can afford it. I can afford the attorney and the charges, but, you know, still help me out. Classic scheme on YouTube. Like I said, there's been so many times that people are trying to figure out ways to get the money out of their pockets, just like church. You got to find ways to get money out of people's pockets on YouTube. And they know fucking with kids, uh, you're, you're, you becoming a victim somehow. That always seems to do it. Or you're going off on another man that they hate. That does it. <clears throat> also, I'd like to thank BB for the donation. See, these agents, they get a ton of donations. I told you that's part of their pay. And they're all monetized. I can't get monetized. My subs. Oh, it's, it's that old trick again. I get 10 subs, then 10 unsubscribe. And it's always 10. That's how you know it's bullshit. Even number every time this has been going on for months. Now that they forced the sub count to be seen, you can watch it for yourself. <laughs> you think I'm bullshitting. I'm not bullshitting. But this is what they do. They don't allow my channel to grow. So you could, you could tell the real people we're stifled. The coon agents put on the show. Now, Brandon said he got served. He didn't really, from what I saw on the show, he didn't really show the, the full paper. And it was uh, handwritten, not tight. Uh, maybe they do it different in California. But, you know, I, I don't know what the serving could be about, but we'll see. We'll see what that is but when he starts asking for money damn near begging talking about we can do this you you know you, you spend money on this that and the other but you don't want to spend money to help bring down a nigger i'm like what, what do you need money for this is the guy who said he got a thriving business property you know i told you all these people on youtube man they always say they got this that the other <laughs> Uh, Michi X talking about she makes uh, multiple uh, uh, six figures. I heard that. Damn, I, I was just listening, listen, watching the videos, the older video. And somebody said somebody who was trying to pitch a get, uh, a get rich quick scheme. They said they make multiple six figures. So she stole that line from someplace. I forgot the video. One of you may have seen it because it was a recent video that just happened to pop up. And I thought, uh-huh. That's where she got that shit from. Multiple six figures. <laughs> I bet you she'll never show you the proof that she has even one six-figure income stream. Not one proof, I bet you. She won't show us the tax return. And if she has a registered business, you can show a tax return or a, a tax uh, filing. And um, it'll have a name of a business and not you and your address and all that kind of stuff. But these people are full of shit. That's, that's, the, that's the problem. They're crooks. And it's Taharka Bay. You notice this guy will never have a debate or even a discussion with anybody concerning that Moorish bullshit. Never. Because he knows that shit is easy to be defeated. Now, the Moorish uh, spawn organization, the Nation of Islam, at least they, they're better able to bullshit their way <laughs> uh, into 
making their their bullshit seem more believable to an extent. But even if you watch Elijah Muhammad on uh, videos on YouTube, when he's in his rare times getting interviewed and they ask him all about this God and all this kind of shit. Sometimes even he has a hard time keeping a straight face to the bullshit he's talking. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of times he's probably saying to himself, God damn, I'm surprised I can get motherfuckers to follow me and believe this bullshit. But they did. Like I said, it always starts with the insane. Um, so Taraka Bay wants to sue Tariq Nashi and he wants your money. Last night, he said he already had the plane tickets. So he, in that case, he shouldn't be asking for any more money. It's the same routine. He comes from that Sarnetta camp. Same routine. They need money for that. That's why you see Sarnetta doesn't really ask for too much money anymore because he's not really getting that shit anymore. Young Pharaoh, I forgot how much he got. I think it was 80000 to 200000 People want that. They want a piece of that shit. But that's not happening anymore for black people. But he had a broader audience. So that's why he got that money. And he was talking that politics shit. You don't. These people who claim they got this. They got that. And they're suing people. When you sue somebody. That's your choice. You don't have to sue anybody. <laughs> that's the choice he wants to make. If that's his choice. It should be his dime. And I got news for you. He's not suing Tariq Nashi. He could sue Tariq Nashi from Baltimore. But he's not going to do that. Because he wants the money. As many. Brandon, I think he was talking about if 300 people donate $10. For this, for that. He can do with whatever the fuck legal bullshit he's trying to do. But I saw one day Brandon netted over one thousand dollars in one one show in super chats. So, what do you need extra money for? Your African business isn't thriving. Maybe that's probably not even making three hundred a month. See, this is all BS that's going on, but. If you want to be, you want to give your money to that, give it. Brand is different. He's out in, in the LA area. So things can happen. Oh yeah, I know what Taharka Bay was saying. He was like, who's the first one to talk about after he gets this museum that it's going to be some bull bullshit or, or that there weren't, uh, he wasn't opening it and that he was the first one to show that there were uh, tenants there. You know, that was me. Cause I did it like, I think a day after right. Uh, or two days after. Come on. But see, these people want a lot. Matter of fact, I better check it, check that video and see if that shit is still up. But see, that's the games that they play with me. Take videos down. So they can't be seen, but they don't tell you why. And they keep sending me shit talking about YouTube Red. I'm not paying one cent for YouTube. They're not allowing me the freedom to do what I want to do. I could be getting paid a decent amount of money for being monetized, but they don't even want me to get monetized. And again, I got to. Let people know because you see a lot of coon agents talk that bullshit. I ain't monetized or other uh, guys like uh, the Black Authority who ain't nothing but a, a two bit entertainer. And he was babbling the other day. I ain't monetized. My channel ain't monetized. I told you before this fucking idiot right here. I swear to you, man, <laughs> these people in there driving. This fucking idiot. Anyway, uh, 
I told you before, when these people lie and say that they're not monetized, it's supposed to mean that uh, the white man is against them or they're being kept down. That's what he keeps saying. I think he has over 100,000 subs. You can only go but so far because you're a black focused channel. So you ain't. He, he was uh, crying the other day talking about some guy got $41 million in donations. White people got connections and money. You're not getting $41 million in donations. Be happy that you're getting what the fuck you getting. Shit, if you were in my predicament where well, I ain't getting but so much, you really be pissed. Because I'm getting handcuffed. That's the main reason I get pissed. They let these coons just run amok. They can lie to you and say that they're not monetized. They're lying. I told you, every time they get a super chat and you see it, or a sticker, or what have you, membership, whatever the fuck it is, they are monetized, and they chose to be monetized. YouTube does not automatically monetize you. You have to jump through the hoops to get monetized. And you can't get a super chat, a super sticker, membership, anything that has to do with some goddamn money. You cannot get that that is goddamn money on YouTube. You can't get those things without being monetized. And just to refresh my memory of it, I went and checked again yesterday just to make sure that the, they didn't change the rules. And you can look for yourself. You have to be monetized in order to get a super chat. So stop falling for their lies. They don't give a fuck about you or their people. They only or black people in, in general. They only give a fuck about their bank accounts. Once I saw that the Black Authority got fifty million uh, YouTube uh, 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 shows going on almost every fucking day, a single homosexual. An alleged homosexual who never denied that, you know, he never uh, said, hey, I ain't gay. <laughs> but this guy is giving out relationship advice. See, he's going by whatever moves. And this is the same guy who acts like he's a warrior doing something. He said, I got the receipts. I challenged the Negro to produce the receipts. And the Negro didn't produce. Because there are none. He's an entertainer. Getting your money. These people can't get paid. Hold on a second. I had a uh, <clears throat> little call. That's cool that you could pause it. That was my first time ever pausing it. <laughs> Looks like it got back to uh, where I was at. So, uh, yeah, so these people, they're fucking lying. They just want your goddamn money because this is their only source of income. And it probably is good. But see, they always have to downplay the money and act like, well, this ain't nothing. You know, uh, it's just like when I uh, bought a car, that car. The sales guy kept saying, well, I ain't making too much money off of this. And I was like, motherfucker, if you weren't, you wouldn't make sure that I was hurrying up and sealing the deal. So why are you telling me this bullshit? We know you're making money off this shit, so stop bullshitting. <laughs> but that's what people do. They BS. So Taharka Bay... He doesn't have to sue Tariq Nashi. He doesn't have to go to Los Angeles. It's a small claims. He's going small claims. I don't know what it is in Los Angeles or in California. It might be five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. And I could tell you a guy like Tariq Nashi wouldn't want to uh, pay that up, not because of the money, but because of the judgment. He doesn't want the judgment against them. But Taharka Bay's not going out there. This man, unless he got some Morris connection, you got to go all the way to Los Angeles. Set up shop. See, you got to use your brain. You can't fly from Baltimore to Los Angeles 
and say I'm going to the courthouse and I'm suing Tariq Nashi and then expect to go to court tomorrow. That shit might take three months before they get back to you. Hell, if, if the shit handles the entire L.A. County, might take five months. Shit. <laughs> I mean, you got to stop this bullshit and you know he ain't staying out there all that long. Nobody travels long distances to sue. You got the Alex Jones traveling here and there. But that's big money, even though that's all a fiasco theater. Don't fall for it. I ain't even going to try to get into that, but that's whole, all theater. I know some people are like, nah, that ain't bullshit. They ain't no theater. As long as Alex Jones is on the motherfucking radio, it's theater. Always remember that. I told you. Every time somebody does something or says something in front of a mic or camera, it is theater. Especially when they start crying. That's the other routine people use to uh, get money out of you. They start crying. Um, so this lawsuit, that's bullshit. He came out, came out of that one. That's the old school trick. He was riding the uh, momentum. And he got a little money out of it. But now people are like, nah, because now he's switching the shit up now. And, that, and that's an example of his lies. First, he talked about Haitian name. Uh, you know me. I pointed out that his sister's name is uh, Sanders. So that now he's trying to switch it up to Saunders. So now I know this is some bullshit. Now, I said, nah, man. Nah, nah, nah. You bullshit now. Saunders. You didn't mention Saunders before last night. Now, all of a sudden, there's a Saunders. If anything, that was a name that Tariq used to throw the spelling off. You know, you use different names and all that kind of shit just to, you know, get a magazine subscription or some shit you didn't want to pay for or some shit like that. So this guy's bullshitting. Twisting turns, I have a feeling it's not going to lead to anywhere. And when he went to that rally, why did he have to stay so far back? According to Tariq, he tried to say we had a permit and the permit allowed us to have our space. That's not what the fuck a permit allows you to do to speak in public. Even though technically via the Constitution, you're not supposed to. You don't even need a permit, but, <clears throat> but I guess. For the other shit, you want to set up a stage. Maybe that's what it is. But whatever the case was. When you're out in public. Nobody could tell you to step the fuck back. Not even the cops. Unless it's some type of emergency. So I come to Harker Bay. And these other people didn't go to the front. You got a sidewalk. That's a public sidewalk. You can step anywhere. You can go across the street. All the coon agents were there for that rally. Including the Afro think tank. <laughs> yeah, he, he works for the government. That's a coon agent. He, he's taking his African shit too, too far, man. African this, African that. God damn. I love to have another discussion with these pan-Africanists concerning Africa. But they don't they never want to do it. That's why you gotta take them by surprise. Ambush their asses. It's sad that it has to be that way, but that's the way it has to be. But Taharka Bay is full of shit. You go to the rally to do what? Go all the way in the back? Saying this this rally ain't doing nothing. I know you got the energy. You go all the way to the front and say, Tariq Nashi, you ain't about shit. It's your area. Yeah, that's your your home area. It ain't Tariq Nashid's, even though he probably got the uh 
FBI watching, uh, uh, you know, protecting them. <laughs> they ain't worrying about Tariq Nashi. He's just the coon agent in training, trying to make him a national uh, figure, figure uh, to debate and shit, a national leader, but he's too stupid to articulate himself in debates. He lies too much. His, his lies, he's not slick enough for intelligent people. And you see that and hear that when he does his little fucking debates on his Twitter spaces. That's his training ground. That's why they told him to do that shit. Train. Train, nigga, train. And then when he tries to train, he's not good enough. I'm the one who let it be known all that shit is fake. And why does he keep hanging around homosexuals and trannies? Why go there? A nice guy. And that's what I said. <laughs> some of them are starting to have some nice minds. Wearing those tight legging type things. Don't worry, I ain't do nothing. But anyway. <laughs> uh So this is what's going on with these guys. It's a bunch of bullshit. Asking for money. You sue somebody online. Which I believe Meatball did that. And they all stayed in their uh, same states that they live in. They didn't have to move nowhere. And <clears throat> they're closer to each other in three different states than Taharka Bay is to California. And let's suppose you did have to show up or you could, you still sue him from Baltimore. And then when the court date kicks in, then you fly out there. And Tariq Nasheed, I can almost guarantee, let's suppose that there was an actual lawsuit that actually went on. I can guarantee you that Nasheed will probably have a lawyer in his place. Because he's a prideful guy. He doesn't want uh, people to see that he was dragged to court. But again, it's all theatrics just to collect money. That, and you know what? That's why I haven't been making too many videos because I got to concentrate on this other uh, channel that brings in the money. And two, you know, I've just been pissed off. I'm like, man, shit, I'm being held back from YouTube. There's just too many coons out here. I mean, you got coon agents who are going crazy defending the small hats. You listen to the Black Authority. He's one of them. When people get on there talking, well, as I was listening to a show, I think this past weekend or maybe from last weekend, when he was talking about the Kyrie Irving thing, guy called in, he was questioning the Holocaust. And I said, oh, yeah, I already know uh, Black Authority going to get nervous now. <laughs> Once you start talking that talk, he did. He didn't get as abruptly nervous as he used to do. Like, I ain't got time to talk about that. He tried to play it off and get a little smoother with it. But he eventually cut the man off. Oh, well, thank you for calling. These coons don't want to talk about it. That's how you know who employs them. Now, if you ask them directly, how come you don't want to go in on the Jews? They'll say some shit like, well, I got to keep the channel alive. In other words, keep the money alive. Cause they don't want the income leaving. And when you get bigger in YouTube, believe me, the income that you can make can be better than probably any practical job that you can get and doing a whole lot less work too. All this motherfucker does is talk all day about nonsense and diss people when they call in. And I think people seem to get entertained by trying to call in to see how long they can last. And if you notice, Tariq Nasheed <clears throat> does the same thing. Matter of fact, I'm starting to think now, 
since Taharka Bay talked to, he, he showed some of Tariq Nashi's cohorts in that old rap group. The flex is fierce. I'm fierce. The flex is fierce. <laughs> um, I'm starting to think the Black Authority may be one of those guys, one of his uh, former homie, homies in the group. Because they do everything almost alike. They talk about the same shit almost at the same time. Unless it's some agent shit. I told you, even with that uh, Wakanda, all the agents got to talk about that. Woman King, they all got to talk about that. And they all talk about the same, talk about it in the same way. Because their coons instructed to do their jobs. That's what it's about. We'll see if Taharka Bay goes to Los Angeles for anything more than a vacation. If the people pay for a vacation to Los Angeles, he'll take it. And he'll probably go to small claims court, show the video. And then what he won't show you is him going all around L.A. looking at the sites and shit with his family or wife. And then he'll say, oh, I got to come back. Oh, I didn't know. I I, I thought this is going to be quick. You know, whatever the bullshit is to get more money out of you. So. It is what it is. I just had to make the video. And believe me, I like going live, but, you know, I also got a fucking new neighbor. That's a pain in the ass, too. (laughs) Hopefully they've been tamed. But, um. You just got to. Let's put it like this. I'm playing the YouTube game now like the Asians play it. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So with that, I'm out.